In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why Smash Return might be the best play in the Gun Bunch. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to let you know and encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. I upload new Madden videos every single day right here on the YouTube channel that share with you both my offensive and defensive tips and tricks for you to be able to get better on both sides of the ball. Now one other way that I think you can actually get very very good at this game is through ebooks, written game plans or written guides that basically explain to you how to use every piece of a playbook or every piece of a formation to cohesively put together a scheme. And I've done that out of this gun bunch for you. I actually have a full ebook out that basically is a detailed game plan or detailed strategy guide for how to use this gun bunch as your number one offensive formation out of the Jets playbook. And so if you wanna get that full guide, it is available for just $15 in the description. There's my Jets ebook, just head on down in the description. You can pick it up. It's an amazing, amazing ebook that will literally teach you step-by-step -step how to master this gun bunch, which has been the best offense probably for the better part of the last decade in the Madden community. All right, guys, so I'm going to be breaking down with you today um, basically just a very phenomenal way to use this play Smash Return. Now, if you don't know, a lot of people like to set their zone drops um, in their coaching adjustments, but for the purpose of this video, I, I want to share with you this without zone drops first, and then I want to move into what it would look like if they were to begin dropping their zone coverages. So we're just going to come out in some Mabel, uh, some different varieties of coverages here within our nickel 335 wide defense. And the first coverage that we're going to test is we're going to test um, this play against the cover three sky drop. So as you can see here, I'm audible to cover three sky. And all we're going to do is from, a, from an adjustment perspective is we're just going to take the R1 receiver, which is the slot receiver in this example, and we're gonna put him on a streak and then we're going to take this uh, running or this circle receiver, and we're just simply going to motion him all the way to the numbers, and basically snap the ball as soon as he kind of gets out there enough. So motion him all the way out, and then kind of snap it right in that little pocket. And what you're going to see is he is actually going to be able to serve as a two-window type of route. You notice that curl flat zones, which are probably the best zones in the game to defend this as far as a stock zone, the curl flat zone is going to simply go down. Um, to this little flat route right here. You see this little delayed corner route does an amazing, amazing job. As you can see right there, it gets to the corner and does a very, very good job. Now, that's a basically, that's a number or a stock um, curl flat zone. Now I wanna show you a stock cloud flat zone. So what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna audible, uh, or I'm gonna basically shade coverage down and shade coverage up. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a cloud flat on the outside. I want you to see how this does against this zone. As you see, once again, he drifts to the inside. And as you can see, this little angled uh, corner route does a phenomenal job of getting separation. The next defensive coverage that I wanna show you is a quarter flat zone on that side. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to shift to cover three, but we're gonna base, or to cover four drop, I apologize, but basically we're gonna shift it into um, basically a cover three. As you can see right here, you know, we've basically recreated uh, a cover three style defense. We got outside thirds over there, and I just want you to watch kind of how this is gonna play. So again, you're gonna snap it right about here, and as you'll see, this quarter flat also will allow this corner route to get wide open. As you can see there, it beats every stock coverage. Um, the last coverage that we're gonna be testing is we're gonna share with you what it looks, what it would look like um, if they're gonna run a cover two. And I just wanna show you um, a cover two style coverage. Now this is a cover two style coverage uh, with a purple zone over there. So we're gonna put, go ahead and put a curl flat and a cloud flat over there. And I just want you to again, watch this zone. So again, you're doing this little motion out tactic. What you'll see is the zones will drift inside. And as you can see, if, as long as I don't get to throw out a sack right there, I'm gonna be able to complete that ball. So let me show you that one more time here real quick. Um, and then we're gonna start talking a little bit about zone drops. So as you can see here, you know, we've got the we've got the purple zone, the yellow zone, and the and the and obviously the cloud flat. Obviously a hard flat wouldn't cover this. Um, hard flats aren't gonna go anywhere near that deep enough. But as you'll see right here, uh, just basically pass leading him up, and you see that I do have a window to be able to throw this. Now again, if you have been following the channel for any length of time, you would know that we actually just released this Gun Bunch ebook um, to our community. And so if you wanna get this full ebook, it is available in the description. It shows you how to use everything out of this Gun Bunch offense. Again, you'll see it right here. Just simply pass lead it up. And as you can see, it gets over that stock cover two, uh, Tampa two style coverage. 
Now, um, the last defense we want to test before we go into zone drops is the cover four match coverage. So really quickly here, I want to show you what happens if I just run this cover four quarters. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to streak the right R1 receiver, but I'm not going to motion anybody out. What you're going to notice here is that this corner route is going to go ahead and get covered. As you can see, there's two defenders in the vicinity in the way to be able to stop this. Now it's gonna get a little bit better for you due to the motion out tactic of that circle receiver. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna motion him out to the numbers, wait for him to kind of almost start to set up. And then what you're gonna see here is a completely different defense. And as you can see, that square or that tight end does a lot better of a shot at beating this. Essentially the defense is going to see the, the circle receiver as a vertical threat whenever you motion him to the outside. And that's gonna make them essentially play man-to-man -man coverage onto him and then it's going to allow a little bit more room for you to be able to hit that X receiver. Now, obviously cover four quarters probably does the best job as far as a stock coverage in the game um, against this route. But let me show it to you one more time here. And again, you're just waiting for him to kind of just get, kind of get out there just like that. And then all the way, and I'm just going to outside pass lead it, as you can see right there, pass lead it to the open grass, and we're able to hit that route. So as you can see here, it basically beats every stock coverage in the game. The one coverage that's gonna give it a little bit of issue is man-to-man -man coverage. And what I'm gonna encourage you to do, you cannot do this in regs, but in butt, you can definitely do this. Um, and you're gonna notice that people are gonna start setting their zone drops to so the standard traditional 25, five and five. Um, but if they do run man coverage on your tight end, as long as your tight end has uh, route running above, I think 85, uh, but it could definitely above 90. As long as he has over 90 route running, um, he's going to be able to get separation against anything that they do man coverage wise. So what I want to do first is I want to show you kind of a standard um, adjustment that you're going to probably see and that is to simply go into the Mike Blitz 3 and to Mabel coverage. So I just want to show you this real quick. So I've set up a simple Mabel coverage here in which those flat zones are going to drop to 25 yard depth. And what you'll see here is you see how they drift to the inside. The beauty of this route is that it will basically cause any kind of zone um, to be able to or basically to be forced uh, to, to drift to the inside of the field. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a lot of opportunity for you to be able to have a lot of room um, to throw this route. That little uh, in route is gonna do a really good job against man coverage. It's also gonna do a good job of pulling the zones to the middle of the field, leaving the sideline wide open for you to be able to hit um, with an easy dot. Let me show you that one more time as we had a little bit of an issue there. Uh, we had a little bit of issue with the with the uh, gunslinger, but if you watch here again, I'm just going to motion him out. Same thing, and I want you just to watch this corner route once again. And as you can see here, as long as I outside pass lead it, it gets more outside than the zones are able to drop to. And so that's a 25 yard cloud flat that that route is getting open against. It's not getting open over the top of it, but rather it's getting open, you know, kind of underneath it. So I want to show you one last thing here as far as this goes, and then we're going to show you um, the rest of the routes on this play. But the next the next thing that you'll see here is let's say that that, that comes from the, you know, the, the other zone, which is the, the hard flat. As you can see, the, the, the Tampa 2 will do a decent job at being able to get back on this route. What I will tell you is, again, the better route running that you have, the better that route's going to play, first and foremost. And secondly, you can actually pass lead this at multiple points. So you see, once it gets out here, I can kind of, um, I can kind of get it out there. Again, you're waiting for those cloud flats to kind of drift to the inside. So you do need to be a little bit careful that you're not pass leading it or lowballing it into zones um, on that side of the field. But also realizing, oftentimes this is going to get open to the outside. You see, there's the drift right there, and then I just click on and kind of cut it off. But as you can see, cover two is the best thing they can do to be able to stop this with that, with that. Um, um, coverage backed off to about 25 yards so the last thing I want to do in this video is I want to show you the rest of the routes and again if you want to get the full bunch ebook it's available in the description for just 15 bucks in my opinion it's the best ebook in the community to teach you how to run this offense we spend over five hours simply in practice mode i think we have one hour exclusively devoted to flat zones and how you're or i'm sorry to flat routes and how you deal with that but anyways the rest of the the rest of the routes that you have at your uh, disposal here you'll notice that you got this nice little snap throw uh, inside pass lead streak if you have gunslinger and they're choosing to use her on the left side of the field that's a great opportunity for you to be able to hit them over the middle uh, with this little quick route right at the seam to the slot 
The next route that you have, uh, obviously is gonna look into that other route, but as you'll see here, this in route right here to Devontae Adams is very, very effective against, against a lot of different coverages, in particular man coverage as well as zone coverage. Whenever they're running Mabel coverage or they're you know putting their hooks on like five yards, you're gonna be able to hit this little route right here. Is again, you're basically gonna have a high low read between the in route from the left side and the in route from the right side that you're gonna be able to hit. Now let's say that they run some man-to-man -man coverage. Sometimes, uh, again, if you have that tight end, if he has good route running, he's gonna be able to get open against that man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing you have going for you is this circle route will almost always get separation against man coverage. As long as your receiver has decent route running, he doesn't even have to have that good of route running, but you're just gonna see because of the motion and because he's unbumpable, you're gonna be able to have a lot of success with this route against man coverage. You see right there, inside position, click on. It's a nice, easy check down. You might want a possession catch that if you're in a game, but as you can see, it does a really good job. And then the last route that I really wanted to hit on is this either, again, this high low between your running back. You'll see sometimes right there, the running back did get stopped. But as you see there, the in route from square receiver uh, was wide open. The running back route is actually super, super glitchy. Um, I cannot tell you how glitchy that route is. If they man him up, they just don't always cover him. Okay, sometimes they do cover him. They don't always. If you want to change the running back route, if you don't like that route, you can go with something different. But as you see against the drop, it, whenever they, especially whenever they start using um, things like zone drops and stuff like that, you're going to see that that blue route just gets in a really tender spot of the defense. And so I really like to use that running back route. Again, if you want to put him on a wheel route, you want to put him on an option route, that's fine as well. But I do enjoy the blue route, especially um, just as a late check down. Also, the, the cool part is, let's say that they send pressure at you. So like, let's say that they blitz everybody. As long as you ID the linebacker on that side, if they blitz that linebacker, most of the time that running back will block. You see right here, he just stays in to block, and now you have a lot of time, and then once he gets up, he's going to go out on a route. So anyways, guys, that is Smash Return. It's one of the most underrated plays in the bunch arsenal. It's a very, very good play, and if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook, it's available for you right now. You can pick it up for just $15 in the description. Uh, there's a link right there for you to be able to pick it up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'd love to connect with you tonight. We're going to be streaming at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on the YouTube channel. So if you want to come by, say what's up. It'd be great to talk with you. And again, if you want to get that ebook, the link is in the description of this video.